This is kind of deja vu from my Dollar Tree haul on Friday, but wait till you see all the groceries I got for the month of November. Hey guys, it is dinner time Sunday, and I have a really big grocery haul to share with you, so I'm going to try to be as quick as possible because my family is hungry. I just spent two and a half hours at HEB. That's right, it took a while. But I tried to get as many of the non-perishable foods that I need for November ahead of time just because I know the next two months are going to be super, super busy. So I wanna have a lot of stuff already on hand. I don't wanna have to worry about going to the store or making multiple trips or anything like that. So I'm gonna share everything that I got at HEB today. I also have my receipt so I can show you. I don't even remember the total, but I'm gonna show you that after I show you all of the food that I got. And just a little quick glimpse, I have it spread out all over my kitchen. And if you hear anybody walking around, that is probably my dog, Bella. Okay, so over here I wanted to share, these are kind of like the meal deals that we picked up from HEB. Um, we have a skillet that is totally warped and really, really old. So we went ahead and bought a new one and it was just under $18. It is a 13 inch family pan, it says. So for buying the pan, you got the chicken for free and it is this ready to cook three pound bag of boneless, skinless chicken breast. So I thought that was awesome since we needed a pan anyway. Then everybody in the house except for me <laughs> loves popcorn, like buttered popcorn. And this was buy one, get one free, which again, I thought was an awesome deal. So they are both six bags in each box. I got one of the double butter and then one of the movie theater butter. So again, it was buy one, get one free. And then I had rotisserie chicken on my grocery list. And then when I went to pick it up, there was a little sign that said you would get it free if you bought some of the Nor sides. And we, it's not on my meal plan yet, but we use these a lot. So since this was on my meal plan, this was like just under $7, but I got it for free for spending $10, um, which I, I thought was an okay deal. So I went ahead and did it. So I got a mixture of different rices and pastas, but there's 10 of them right here. Then the next deal was, again, this was an item that is on my list for later on in the month. Um, turkey smoked sausage, my kiddos love this and it takes two of these to feed our family of six. So I was able to do the meal deal twice. You bought one of these and you got one can of green beans and one can of ranch style beans for free. So since I bought two, I got all four of these cans for free. And then I did the bigger meal deal, which is you buy two of their brand, H-E-B brand pizza. So I got one pepperoni and one cheese, just cause that's again, my kids' favorites. And I got these three things for free. So I got a thing of Parmesan cheese, which was on my list. These things weren't on my list, but that's okay. I got some Canada Dry, the Blackberry Ginger Ale. I've never tried this. I thought this would be interesting to try. And then this Triple Fudge Brownie Mix. So I got the two pizzas and then I got those things for free. So that's all the kind of like the meal deals that I got. And then everything else, I did have a lot of coupons. I'll share that when I show you the receipt. And there are a couple Ibotta rebates and I'll show those. Actually, I'm not gonna show those. I'll put those in the description box so you guys can read everything that I saved. All right, moving on. So I got two of these because there happened to be a coupon and I love them. They're my favorite. I got both this of the same flavor, strawberry banana. Yum, yum, yum. Then my kiddos asked if they could have some SpaghettiOs, so I picked up three cans of the SpaghettiOs with meatballs. Then back here, I have some Texas Toast Five Cheese Bread, and then down there is the HEB brand breadsticks. Needed some more peanut butter, so I got creamy and extra crunchy because we are a mixed household of what, who prefers what. Then I got a can of chili just for snacking on. We, my daughter and I, my oldest daughter, like to put just American cheese slices in this and melt it together and then just eat it with some chips as a snack or a quick lunch. Got two cans of pineapple chunks. Got two things of Gatorade. These were on sale, so I just picked up, I, I always forget which one my oldest daughter prefers. I know she likes the clear ones, but I can't remember if she likes the all clear or the frosted, so I just picked up one of each because um, my other younger three will drink 
whichever one she doesn't like anyway. So I got two things of Gatorade. I got some mozzarella, thin sliced. And then if you guys saw me live with my husband on um, Saturday night, Everybody was talking about chocolate hummus so and boiled peanuts, but unfortunately I could not find any boiled peanuts, but I did find the chocolate hummus, so I'm going to give this a try and see if I like it. I'm excited. Well, and scared all at the same time because I'm not big on the hummus. I don't really like eating hummus, but I love me some chocolate, so we'll see about this. I was out of baking soda, got some baking soda. Um, I'm going to run out of coffee before the end of the month, so I went ahead and picked this one up, the Original Donut Shop Coffee. And it is regular 12 K cups in here. Okay, this is brand new. I needed Pam and I saw this and I had a coupon plus I think there's an Ibotta rebate. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna pick it up and give it a try. It's a cooking spray, has olive oil in it and it's by Pam. So I thought that was cool, give that a try. We got some french fries and then down below getting smushed is tater tots. This is totally gonna fall over and like knock everything over. There we go. Um, and it, it's still knocked over. Too many things. Right here we've got some honey. Um, I always try to get the most local to me because it's supposed to help with allergies. And this one is out of Austin, which we are right outside of San Antonio. So that's as local as I can find. Got some pancake and waffle mix. I got a pack of these Laughing Cow cheese dippers. Two things of ground turkey. This was not on my list. I just saw it and it was right in the yogurt aisle um, and it just sounded really, really good for like a snack at night after dinner or something, but cheesecake and then it has a cherry sauce. There was two other kinds. I think it was blueberry and strawberry, but I'm a cherry girl, so I picked that up. I'm excited to give that a try. Then you guys have seen these. If you're not new to my grocery hauls, I get these almost every single week. They are the Chobani Flip. I did get more than normal just because I'm trying to purchase for most of the month. So I got s'mores, almond coco loco, peanut caramel satisfaction. Then we've got cinnamon bun fun, coffee brownie bliss, and salted caramel crunch. Mm, these are all, all six of these. I love the flavors. I got a big thing of bagel bites. These were a deal also. I had a coupon and I think there's an Ibotta rebate. I'm not sure, but um, I don't buy these that often and my kids like them. So that'll be a nice little treat for them for lunch one day. Okay, I am going to Costco and Sam's and I'm gonna be sharing that haul on Friday for my shop with me. I'm gonna take you inside the stores and I'm gonna show you everything I buy. And I'm hoping to find these in bulk, but just in case, I went ahead and picked up one small box of each because my kids love these. These are constantly in my grocery hauls. And it is the Cliff Kid Organic Z-Bars. I got the iced oatmeal cookie. My son takes one of these to school almost every single day for his snack. And then same thing with one of my twins, Rose. This is her favorite snack. I purchase these all the time. So I wanna to try to get them in bulk, but it's the Nature Valley Granola Cups Peanut Butter Chocolate. She loved these things. Um, she'll have one of these every day for snack too if I allowed it. All right, I got some pretzel sticks. I got some Tostino scoops. This is for my daughter and I whenever we decide to have that chili. I got some dried cranberries. Um, this is another thing that I don't get all the time, but I had a coupon, so I picked some up. Um, and it is the Palm Super Tea. So I got one Peach Passion, and then I got two of the Honey Green Tea. Got some more chocolate syrup to make chocolate milk, and I got the Simply Five. My kids are liking this kind, and it's a little bit better for them, so I've been picking that up. I got a thing of almond milk, some brown rice, some sliced ripe olives, sesame oil, two jars of pizza sauce. Okay, I got this Pure Protein, and if you guys know a brand that you love or um, that you've read, you know a lot of good things about, let me know. I was kind of overwhelmed when I was looking at all the different options, so I just went with this one because again, I happen to have a coupon, so it made it one of the cheaper ones. Um, but I'm gonna start drinking smoothies every now and then, and I just got this to put into them. And eggnog is out. It was out last week, but I was already like over getting all the special uh, snacks and stuff. So I went ahead and picked some of this up. My kids and I love it. And my husband likes it too. Okay, we use soy sauce quite often. So I went ahead and picked up two of them so I didn't have to worry about it the rest of this month. Then I got two things of spaghetti sauce and they're both Barilla, but I got the roasted garlic and the traditional. 
Got some bagels and the Sara Lee at HEB is the same exact price as the HEB brand. So I went ahead and got the Sara Lee. My daughter, my oldest daughter loves bagels in the morning. So I got that for her. I got a package of hot dog buns. I did find another thing of cranberry and they had tons, but I still have a couple packages of the s'more flavor. So I just picked up one more of the cranberry and one more down here of the pumpkin spice to stick in my freezer. That way I could eat on it all year long. I got a thing of French bread and then you guys, we typically get our dog food from Sam's, but um, we were totally out, that's why it's opened. I needed one can and I have it on my Sam's list to go buy more, but when we were looking at them at HEB, much cheaper HEB, so that's what we did. We bought four packages of these, I think it was about $32 for all four of these, um, and this is gonna last us the whole month for our dog. So we went ahead and pre-bought so I don't have to worry about it the rest of November. Then, okay, the last long stretch of food here. I got a bag of onions, two packages of walnut pieces. Um, this is a non-food item, but I needed it for my carpets. We love this stuff, it works really good. The Arm & Hammer Prep Pet Fresh Carpet Odor Eliminator. Whew, that is a mouthful. Um, this is what I use to sweeten my coffee every single morning and I am about to be out so I picked up another one stevia in the raw I got two bags of noodles here one of them is angel hair and the other one is just plain old spaghetti noodles some bananas a thing of heavy whipping cream half and half two gallons of milk and I was gonna buy two and a half because that's what we've been going through, but it's much cheaper to buy a gallon at a time. But we do not have enough room in our refrigerator for three gallons of milk, plus the other beverages that we typically get each week. So this might be something that I might have to like go to the store just for a gallon of milk. So that's okay though, it's cheaper. So that's why we did it this way. I got some stick butter. I always call it butter. Some people it's probably margarine, I don't even know, it says vegetable oil sticks that's what this says so whatever i call it butter i got one red onion some green onions some feta cheese um my daughter loves pepper jack cheese so i got this kind for her because this will last longer um typically i get where is it at uh this one i get the pepper jack in this but we end up throwing away, because she's the only one who eats it, like three or four slices, just because she doesn't get to them before they're bad. Let's go back over here. <laughs> but I figured this way, they're gonna last, and it's gonna be less wasteful and all that. So I hope she likes these, got those. And then I also got just normal American cheese singles. Um, this I'm excited about. We have Hulu, and this is on almost every single show that I watch, one of the commercials, this International Delight One Touch Latte um, Frothing Coffee Creamer, and I just thought it would be fun, so I did have a coupon, so I went ahead and picked that up. Got some turkey bacon, got a big old 10 pound bag of potatoes, some apple juice back here. Um, we are completely out of juice boxes, and that is typically what my kids drink for lunch, um, but I'm not getting them until tomorrow, so they needed something for their lunch. So I went ahead and just picked up three small little Nesquik chocolate milks for them. Got some strawberries, a cucumber. This bag has two or three, two jalapenos in it. I got two packages of tomatoes. I'm doing some meal prep, so I needed those. Um, and these are the organic red grape tomatoes. These organic ones were actually cheaper than the non-organic, which was uh, kind of interesting to me. So I went ahead and got that totally out of sugar and with the holidays coming I know I'm gonna be doing some baking so I got some sugar there's our typical one thing of orange juice every week I got a big package of spring mix lettuce then this is not like just for this week obviously this is gonna last them much longer but I went ahead and got three different packages of the yo crunch which is my kids favorite yogurt so I got one with Oreos, I got one with M&Ms, and I got one with the, which one is this? Oh, chocolate chip um, cookie dough. So I got that. Four Red Delicious Apples. This, oh my gosh. So Krista tagged me in this on Facebook, and of course I had to pick it up. So I got the pumpkin pie spice butter. I'm excited about this. Like I might have this with some toast tomorrow for breakfast instead of the quiche that I'm supposed to have. We'll see, or maybe just for snack I'll have that. Okay, I got a bag of carrots. 
Um, this is three pomegranates. My kids love pomegranates. And my husband has a really easy way to get the seeds out. So I will record that when he does that to these and share it. Um, probably on Instagram or Facebook or something like that. Or I'll put it into a vlog. So if you're curious about that, be on the lookout. Then I got these, this three little tomatoes on a vine. I got a bag of squash, yellow squash, and a bag of zucchini. These are our favorite pickles. They are the best pickles ever, you guys. Mm, if you guys ever have this brand, you will never buy another brand of pickles ever. So good. So we always get that when we run out. Um, my twins birthday is coming up. They are going to be turning five and they got to pick what we ate all day or what we are going to be eating all day on their birthday. And they wanted to make their own pizzas for dinner that night. So I picked up two packages of these Mama Mary's pizza crust and there's three in each. We are a family of six. So that is perfect for us. I got some pepperoni, some string cheese, package of diced ham. This is a small package of oven roasted turkey breast. I got a green apple, this is for a recipe. Some roasted, or some roasted, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm getting tired. Some rosemary. Um, and then this is something new that I wanna try with my kids. These are the Carnation Breakfast Essential Drinks. And I'm not going to give them just this drink, I'm actually going to turn it into more of a smoothie. I'm gonna add a banana and like a tablespoon of peanut butter and that'll be like a little smoothie for them for breakfast. I hope they like it, um, cause it's definitely gonna give them a lot of nutrients that they don't otherwise necessarily get all the time. And then last thing is this bag of mandarins. Um, and then this is our dinner tonight, just to show you guys we're having chicken noodle soup, but that is it. All right, you guys, I'm gonna take a quick break, put all this stuff up, eat dinner with my family, and then I will come back and share with you guys the meal plan. Okay you guys, we are done eating. All the cold stuff is put up and now here is my receipt. <laughs> Look at that. And then down here is the total. So it was $353.11 and then I had $54.43 or that's how much I saved because I used a lot of coupons. Like, Look at all those coupons that I used. Yep. And then I will leave the Ibotta, whatever Ibotta rebates that I'm able to do, I'll put that in the description box. So that was my total for all this food. Now, here is my brand new Carrie L meal planner. So excited to be using this. Um, I, what I did for making my meal plan for the month, and I am not done yet, I did not finish it in time, but I used this inventory area. I didn't even show that to you, but right here, it says inventory um, and you can keep all of the stuff that you have in your freezer. So that's kind of what I did. I already crossed out the stuff that I have cooked and then I have check marks next to things that I have planned. Um, we just had the chicken noodle soup so I need to cross that off. And then I have check marks next to the other things that I have planned to use coming up. Um, and then you know when I make new freezer meals, I'll just keep adding to that and crossing off as I use them, so that's awesome. Then we come to this tab, which is the meal plans, and here is my month, November. I wrote down anything that was important that might have something to do or change what kind of meals that I'm gonna have, so I wrote all that on here, and then I started making my meals. So I kind of left this here, but actually let me go to a blank one, because these are all used. Here we go, so this is what it looks like. You get your weekly menu, you can write you know, the week in this little spot, and then you have your grocery list, and this is perforated, perforated, so you can rip this off to take this to the grocery store. Now, I didn't necessarily do that just because I was buying so much, I transferred mine onto a big piece of paper, um, and then there's you know, a blank box for each day of the week. What I have decided to do, and I don't know if this is how I'm going to do it the whole time, but what I did was I wrote down the day of the week on the side here, and then I took a card and I separated the one box into three different sections so I could do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, so, so far this has worked. We'll see going forward. I might change it a little bit, but I'll, I'll show you guys anything new that I try out. So I was able to get this first week planned next week planned, and then like half of the third week of November planned. Um, and then I just ran out of time. So I need to finish this, 
and finish the last week of November. Um, and then this needs to stay in here because it has like the fresh stuff that I'll have to buy next week. So what are we having this week? I'm gonna let you guys know what our meal plan is for this week and then next week on my fill-in grocery haul, I will let you guys know what we're eating that week. But I wanted to show share my menu planner because I'm super excited about using it. So this week, Mark and I, my husband, are actually, I'm gonna do some meal prep so it's a little bit easier on us for breakfast and lunch. Um, and we are going to have quiche and I have actually done a movie, on, or a movie, I have actually filmed a recipe video on this quiche, it is so good. So I'll have it in the iCard and in the description box, it's really yummy. So we're gonna have that for breakfast, Monday, Wednesday, oh and Tuesday. So Monday, Wednesday, and Tuesday. And then the rest of the week we're gonna have either a smoothie or we have a lot of bread and I have that pumpkin butter that I got from Trader Joe's. So that's kind of the rest of our week for breakfast. The kids are just gonna have whatever we have on hand. We always have lots of breakfast stuff. For lunch, Mark and I are going to have another thing that I'm going to be prepping. Um, and this is Sunday night when I'm filming this, so I'm gonna prep it either tonight or tomorrow morning. Our turkey taco bowls. So we're gonna have that um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for lunch. Friday, we are actually going to my son's school. They're having a program, so we're gonna eat there. And then Saturday, we're gonna have hot dogs and french fries. And Sunday, we're gonna have pizza grilled cheese. And this is actually a recipe that I'm going to be getting from Nicole Burgess. She does Foodie Fridays, so she shares a recipe every Friday. And she shared this recipe, so I'm going to be doing that. I think my kids will love it. And my kids for this week is the same. If you guys have watched any of my grocery hauls, it is like the same thing for them for lunches because that's what they love, so that's what I make. I, I tend to just do things that I know they're going to eat, except for Tuesday. Tuesday is Halloween, so I'm going to be making like a Halloween themed lunch, and I'm actually gonna vlog all day Tuesday, so you guys will get to see all the like Halloween things. Oh, and I forgot to say that on breakfast, I'm gonna make jan um, jack-o'-lantern waffles and a banana ghost for them, so that'll be fun. Then for dinner, so Monday we're gonna have rotisserie chicken with creamy rosemary potatoes and an apple cranberry walnut salad. And I'm gonna film this and share this with you guys on Wednesday. Um, I'm really excited about trying these recipes. They look really good. Tuesday is Halloween and we just got a Raisin Cane's in our city and it's opening up on Halloween. So we're gonna have that for dinner, just an easy dinner since the kids are gonna go out trick or treating. Wednesday, I'm going to have one of my freezer meals that I made previously, meatball and tortellini soup. We're gonna have that with corn on the cob. Then Thursday, we're gonna have, this is another freezer meal, honey romano pork chops with rolls and roasted veggies. This recipe is so good. I will have it in the description box. I don't think I've made a video on it, but it's a really good side to go with almost anything. Friday, another freezer meal. I'm trying to take advantage of our freezer meals here. We're gonna have the minestrone soup and breadsticks. Saturday, we're gonna have leftovers since we're doing so many freezer meals. We always have a lot of leftovers. So we're gonna have leftovers on Saturday. And then Sunday, this is another freezer meal, but this isn't one that I showed you guys in a freezer meal video. This is the pasta visual soup that we had so much left over, I just put it in a bag and froze it. So I'm gonna pull that out and we're gonna have that with some green beans. So that is our meal plan for the first week of November. All right, you guys, so that is it. Um, I hope you guys liked my meal plan for this first week in November. I'm gonna share each week with you each grocery haul, though I have pretty much pre-planned as much as I could for November. Um, I've got my girl's birthday coming up, Thanksgiving, so those little meal plans are gonna be separately, and I'll share them with you guys later on. Um, but, oh, I am so tired. Like, it took me two and a half hours to buy all these groceries at H-E-B. It was a little bit crowded, though. It's always crowded on a Sunday afternoon, so. This was fun, though. I love pre-buying all my stuff. It just makes the rest of the month go a lot more smoothly. Tomorrow, I am going to go to Sam's and Costco, and I'm going to film inside 
and I'm gonna film what we bought, um, and then I'll share that with you, and that's gonna go up on Friday. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Vanessa. I totally should have said that at the beginning, but if you lasted this long, my name is Vanessa, <laughs> and I would love for you guys to subscribe and stick around. Every single Monday is a grocery haul with my meal plan for my family of six. Every Friday is a shopping haul, but this week I really just wanted to focus on getting my food for the month, so I'm not gonna go to like a retail store or anything like that. I'm gonna share my Sam's and Costco haul. So if you guys like that kind of thing, hit the bell so you're notified when I upload, which is every single day. So I hope I see you before Friday. But if not, I will be back Friday with some more groceries and some non-food items as well. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like these types of videos, and I will see you guys tomorrow in something new. Bye.